Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at how to automatically refresh a pivot table or pivot tables in Excel using a macro using some VBA. So at the moment on screen I have one pivot table um, which is named sales. You'll see this stuff in the code so it's important that I mention it. This pivot table is called sales and it's on a sheet called pivot table. And you'll notice I've got a list over here on the other sheet. This list is formatted as a table, which is always recommended when you're using pivot tables. And this table is named sales list. If anyone is not familiar with formatting a range as a table, I heavily recommend you go and uh, research that and check it out wonderful tool. That's going to ensure that if I add data to this table it will automatically uh, adjust its size and the pivot table will pick that up. That pivot table is using this table as its source data. Now however by default pivot tables do not automatically update. So if I was to change this data then I would not get an update over on this pivot table. Uh, so, for example, I've got sales by product category at the moment. So, I've got eight different categories, and then there's sales across the year. This is every single category. If I go into my list of order sheet, and if I just move to the bottom of this list and type in a new order, which I'll make as 2017 here, and if I just put a different category in, if I just type sweets for example and put in some figures then this is not going to be reflected over on my pivot table so a category called sweets I go to my pivot table nothing happening but if I go to my analyze tab and refresh my pivot table in comes the sweets data so they have to be told to refresh by default we're going to get our VBA code to do that automatically. Let me just go back and get rid of that entry. And then I'll go and refresh this pivot table again. And now let's go into the code area. Let's go to developer tab and visual basic. Or you can use the alt F11 shortcut. And in here I want to jump to my pivot table refresh workbook here and I'm going to go into the sheet that holds the source data so I want to go into this code for the sheet list of orders see at the top of my screen here sheet 2 so let me just minimize that for a moment list of orders sheet has got the source data on that's the sheet that you want to be on let me go back in now along the top I'm going to select worksheet and I'm going to choose the change event. So whenever a change is made to sheet two, to the list of orders sheet, automatically update the pivot tables. So this macro is only gonna run if somebody changes that sheet, which is what I want. I don't want it to always update. It's only relevant if the source data changes. It's the only time it's relevant. Now in here, I'm just gonna type one line of code it's going to say worksheets, open bracket, and I'm going to refer to the name of the worksheet that holds my pivot table. And that is called pivot table, quite simply. Dot pivot tables, so the pivot tables collection. And then the sales table so this pivot table is called sales I mentioned at the start of the video you know that this code is going to use that so it was important that I mentioned it and then I'm going to put pivot cash dot refresh so pivot tables do not automatically update because it's relying on that cache and a cache doesn't update all the time we have to tell it to refresh this code tells that cache to refresh of a pivot table called sales on a sheet called pivot table. If I now just close down that code 
And if I make a change to this pivot table, notice that it's the same as original. If I enter a new line again, and because this is using a table, it will automatically update 2017. And then I'll put in, uh, let's put in biscuits as my category. And I'll just put 10 in again, and I've ordered a 1,000. So 10 grand will appear. And let me go back to my pivot table. And you can see it has automatically put biscuits in. So I won't have to refresh this pivot table every time data changes. It's going to automatically do it because of the change event macro and because we've got it to update the pivot cache of that specific pivot table. Now it may just be that you have more than one pivot table on your worksheet. So let's go and see how we can update all of the pivot tables on the sheet rather than just one called sales. Okay, so let's imagine that you have multiple pivot tables on that worksheet. And maybe you don't even know the name of each pivot table. So in the previous bit of code, I referred to the sheet and the pivot table by its name. I've now got two pivots. My second pivot table is called pivot table two. I've not bothered to name it. And you can see it's doing sales by country. And just notice that China is not in that list. So I'm about to add it in with a new entry. So notice that it's not there. And I've also got rid of my previous entry. Biscuits is not here. Here's my old list. I've got rid of that entry. So let's go back to our code. And this is what we have. Referring to the sheet and the pivot table by name. Now to loop through all the pivot tables on a worksheet and refer to them without needing their name, I can create a variable, which I'll call PT, to act as a pivot table. So let me do that. And then I'll create a for each loop to loop through all of the pivot tables in that worksheet. So let me bring that up to the other line. So for each PT in worksheet pivot table dot pivot tables, and I'll bring this down and stick in my next for the end of the for each loop. There's my start and end of the for each loop. For each pivot table in worksheet pivot tables pivot tables, that's the collection. And in here, I'm simply going to put my variable pt dot pivot cache dot refresh. So loop for every pivot table in that sheet and update them. I've not referred to the pivot table by name here. I'm using a variable uh, for, to act as all the pivot tables. So it doesn't matter if people change the name of the pivot table or anything like that as well. So it's quite robust, this approach. Let me close down the code window and let's check it in action. So just bear with me while I type in a new order again for 2017. The country is China. Remember, China is not in that list. The category is biscuits. Remember, that is not in that list. And let me just put in the same information. 10, 1,000, so 10,000 pounds. And if I go back to the pivot tables, you'll see that biscuits is in and China is in. So that one updated all of the pivot tables on a specific worksheet. Now, if you did want to take that just one step further, you could go back to the code and you can even add in a variable for each worksheet as well. So I can add in dim WS as a worksheet. And then I could put for each WS in active workbook dot worksheets. So loop through every single worksheet in the book. Let me just indent these a little bit and put in my other next down here. 
So now we've got for every worksheet in the book, for each PT in, and I could just put, um, whoops, I could just put WS in there. So there's my variable actions and worksheets, pivot tables, pivot cache dot refresh. So now even if you had multiple pivot tables across multiple sheets, that will now update all of the pivot tables. So I started this video with just a reference to a specific pivot table because I think for most people, you know, if you've got just one source data and you've got one pivot table based on that, you know that if somebody changes that source data to automatically update that pivot. But it may be that you've got more than one pivot into the second example and possibly even multiple sheets. And if that was the case now, you know, when this pivot table updates again and I could have a brand new order with another country uh, let's, let's go for Chile <laughs> trying to choose ones which we're going to see happen on screen as well let's put Chile in there let's go back and put sweets in biscuits and sweets are the first two things in my head uh, I guess pizza would be next uh, let's go back to my pivot table and now you can see that sweets and chili are in as well. So I know they're on the same worksheet, just to save creating multiple sheets. Please put your faith in me that it would update them. As you can see with these multiple pivots still updating with this code now. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel. And come check us out at computergarga.com.